Through this video, we will learn to draw human eyes through some easy and basic steps. This topic is very useful for class 10 and 12 standard. So, let us learn to draw human eye with some basic and easy steps. At first, we have to take a compass, adjust it, put it almost at the middle of the page. We have to draw four concentric circles. one after another. Reduce its radius little bit. Draw the second circle. Once again reduce the radius. Draw the third one. Again draw the last one, the fourth circle. Thus, we have to create three different layers. Now, take a scale and draw two lines with the help of a pencil. These lines should be faint enough so that we can erase it in future. This is a horizontal line and then draw a vertical line in the interior section taking the one fourth portion of the diagram. Now take the eraser, draw, erase the interior portion of the vertical line. Erase it completely. Keep the horizontal line. You need not to erase anything else right now. Now, with the help of a pencil, we have to bulge out the front portion. of our eyes. Now, extend the second circle and draw along the outermost line. Now, demarcate two section on these vertical lines. We have to draw ciliary muscle with the help of this demarcation. One at the top and one at the below. The length of this both the muscle should be equal. Now, demarcate two segment once again, taking almost equal portion from this horizontal line. We have to now draw the lens. Our lens is of biconvex type. So, this is our lens. Now, we can erase the entire vertical lines. Repair the portion which got erased. And join this gap. This is suspensory ligament, maintain connection between ciliary muscle and the lens. Same at the 
bottom of the diagram now take the second line extend such kind of portion a thin muscular flap like portion and joint with the third circle same thing at the bottom too a thin muscular flap like structure arising from the second and third circle this is the irish now next we have to draw the outermost layer of our anterior eye this segment is a kind of incomplete covering present at the outermost lining of our eye this segment is known as conjunctiva the anterior segment of our eye is almost done now what we have to erase this horizontal line right now erase it entirely now repair the segment erased along with it but we have to create a concavity or a kinks at this innermost circle we have to create a such kind of little bit concave region at the innermost circle now we have to erase the portion of the eye from th this linings this situation is almost situated this location is almost situated almost 40 to 45 degree below this region now it is this segment likewise what next we have to extend the innermost circle to form a flower vase like structure take the outermost circle extend it likewise and joint all the second and third lines here then we have to draw some branches of tree these are the nerve ending optic nerve the second cranial nerve that enters through the eye through this channel this branching is the optic nerve now our entire diagram is almost done we have to point out the diagram the outermost layer at the back side of the eye is known as sclera the second lining is known as choroid the third one the most light sensitive portion of our eye is known as retina the concave region is known as yellow spot or otherwisely known as fovea centralis this region the portion from where the optic nerve enters the eyeball this region doesn't create any image and known as blind spot on the retina this entire chamber located just behind the lens is not a vacuum rather it is filled with a jelly like substance known as vitreous humor this muscle is known as ciliary muscle this ligament is known as suspensory ligament help to hold the lens with the ciliary muscle this is the most vital segment of our eye 
the lens made up of entire proteins it's not a glass made lens then this portion is known as iris the portion which is responsible to produce eye color this anterior chamber is filled with jelly like substance known as aqueous humor The outermost covering of our eye is known as conjunctiva. And the lining situated just below the conjunctiva is known as cornea. This layer is known as sclera at the behind of the eyeball and the same layer is known as cornea at the front side of our eyeball. Thus we have completed the entire pointings of this diagram. So, if students follow some basic steps to draw the diagram and practice it for twice or thrice, you can easily find out that this diagram is very easy to draw within a very limited period of time. So, let us figure it out. It is a vertical segment or section of human eye. That's all for today. Hope this video will help you to find a easy step to draw human eye. Thank you.